Now, how do those hockey balls do what they do? Well, here to answer that question is super scientist Greg Foot, everyone. <laughs> Greg, you're back to Blue Peter. I am. Welcome back. Thank you. And you're going to be talking about the sports with science today, the yeah. science behind sports. Yeah. Um, because it's not always just down to talent and really hard training and brain power. Sometimes it's actually down to equipment. Is that right? Absolutely. So, so many sports involve kicking or throwing or hitting a ball through the air. And okay. the key to success is doing that as far or as fast or as accurate as possible. And that's not just down to the player's skill, it's also down to the design of the boot or the racket or the design of the ball. Ah, speaking of the ball, what are you going to show us today? Well, it's the FA Cup final soon, right, uh -huh. and the Euros. So let's have a look at the football first. OK. Now, normally a ball through, uh, moves through the air and you can't see the air around it, but watch this. Look Ooh. at this. This is amazing. OK. So the ball flies through the air. Look at this. And what you can see here is all the air oh, from wow. the front of it Very rushing nice. round to the back. And you see all that messiness there? Yes. We call that turbulence. We call it drag because all the air is rushing around it's bumping around okay. and it's made a wake behind it a wake is the word we use when a boat zooms through the water isn't it and it leaves a wake behind exactly it as well exactly the same and that's that's messy water behind this gets messy air behind and okay. the key is if you can design a ball such that the wake is smaller is thinner then the ball will travel further or faster or be more accurate okay does this mean there's a group of very clever people who basically design sports balls and sports equipment to work very effectively absolutely they're called sports engineers cool job uh, this title. is one of the bits of kit that they might use this is a wind tunnel wow okay so what i want to do is show you how air moves over different size and shape balls. So let's have a look at this one first. We've got a um, glamorous assistant, I should say. Chalky's here. Just, thank you, mate. Uh, getting ready. Uh, so look, so there's, there's <laughs> the air moving over the smoke. And this is just a, a smooth yeah. ball for now. You see the orange yeah. string? Yeah. It's going absolutely wild. And that's because mm -hmm. of that turbulent air, that wake behind it. Sure. Okay, so okay. that can show you exactly what's happening. Now, Lindsay, you'd think that mm -hmm. the smoother a ball is, the easier it's going to cut through the air. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. So why then? Do we have golf balls that have dimples on them? I thought that would move slower. If I was going to guess, I'd, I'd say that would move slower through the air. Okay. But I'm probably well, let's, wrong. let's have a little look. Let's pop it in the wind okay. tunnel. Uh, let's have a look what's happened. The thing is, we uh, found out that when balls got chips on them, like little little uh, bits yeah. knocked out with them, they actually <laughs> flew further. And look at the orange string now. Yeah. It's going less wild, so it's it's, it's slightly smoother, more smoother. Yeah. yeah. So there's a smaller wake behind this golf ball. Look okay. at this um, animation that we've made. Look at this. Okay. This is great. So there's the golf ball. The air's flowing over the top of it. Um, thanks to those dimples, the air sticks closer to the ball for longer, and you get a thinner wake. That's like so that. clever. Now the key is, thanks to those dimples, you get a thinner wake. Thinner wake means less drag. It slows down less, and it actually a golf ball goes three times further than just a purely smooth sphere. I would never have guessed that. Isn't it that. amazing? Now, Wimbledon's just around the corner and I yes. love it. Um, they use kind of fluffy tennis balls, don't they? So they why do. are they all fuzzy? What why are do? tennis balls fluffy? Right, have a yeah. look. Here's a very fluffy tennis ball. Let's put it in here. Now, the thing is, you don't want to make all balls travel faster. Uh, look at what's going to happen. Look at this. Look at that string behind. It, it is, is going it is all over the place. In the air, it is isn't going it? all over the place. Yeah. And that's because there's such a huge wake behind a tennis ball, deliberately, because in tennis you want to slow the ball down. Otherwise, right. the serve would just fly out the back of the court. Okay. So they're designed to be a the little slower. The moral is, uh, don't play golf with the tennis ball or the other way around, because it's all going to go very wrong, isn't exactly it? Exactly <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly right. Okay. Greg, hey. you fantastically explained the sports science behind balls. Mm. Got another question for you. Right. Can you explain sports science behind our sporting elite we have here? Ah. Oh, okay, I'll try. So loads of training obviously goes into you guys achieving the heights that you have, but you can kind of say that uh, there are three different types of body shapes in kind of Olympic sport and okay. Paralympic sport. Now, what you've got is you've got ectomorph, mesomorph, and endomorph. Steph, I'd say you're an ectomorph, okay? You're tall, you're quite slight, there's not much muscle, not much fat, you've got great stamina. Of course, uh, you need to have that for your sport, right? Yeah, of course, because football lasts 90 minutes, and for me, it's all about performing to a high standard from the first minute to 90th minute, so to have a lot of stamina and produce all their movements is what I need to do. Yeah, so Christian Nelly, I'd say you are a mesomorph. So this is, you've got slightly more muscle, slightly more power, and you use that in gymnastics and swimming, of course. Yeah. And the third one is an endomorph. Yes. Yeah, so have a look at this. This is okay. Kieran. Uh, here's Kieran. Whoa, See, he's a big much, lad. Much bigger yeah. lad, right? <laughs> Now, he's got bigger joints, he's got wider hips, and he uses the power and his strength and his body weight in sports like rugby, of course, for him. Ah. The thing is, those are just kind of three ideal, like, shapes. No one really fits into each one exactly. Uh, you're kind of a mixture. So everyone that's watching needs to just go and try loads of sports, do what you love, uh, practice, 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 but it's all about this.
the yes. brain, the drive and the passion. I love that. You're getting really passionate. Oh, no. It was yeah. an inspiring <laughs> speech. Uh, great for everyone. Thank, Thank you for coming. You.